I'm re-recording my YouTube video of the uh, weight loss I had when I went from 527 pounds down to 369 pounds. Somehow I lost the other video, so I'm re-recording it to put it back up on my website. Uh, several years ago, many years ago, over 10 years ago, I weighed at my highest 527 pounds, and I was admitted to the hospital for congestive heart failure. And from that point, I started doing a low carb, high protein diet. And uh, that served me well for quite a while until I got down to about 440 and uh, to between 440 and 460, which happened uh, probably uh, like four years later. It took me about that long to do that. And uh, then I just kind of went on a plateau. I didn't, didn't lose, didn't gain. I, I, if I did, it was a few pounds at a time. I went between uh, 440 and 460, you know, up and down. Well, uh, then I got sick about two years ago and uh, deathly sick. Man, I could not even raise my uh, head off the pillow. And uh, I went to the hospital and I wound up getting my leg amputated. Well, while I was in the hospital in the nursing home, I done, uh, and after, I done a whole lot of research on what I need to do, because I've tried every diet in the world, uh, every diet, and I was very faithful and still wouldn't lose weight. I even tried to be a vegetarian, and man, that made me gain weight. Uh, then I, I, I found out fat, number one, is your friend, but only good fats. Vegetable oil definitely is not your friend. But the good fats, like natural fats, like animal fat, is not bad for you. Boy, I didn't know that. And I, and I was trying to trim the fat off everything I eat. And they tell a diabetic uh, in the research that I went through, you need to leave the fat on there and eat the fat more than you do the protein. Well, uh, I decided that the, the fat diet, the high fat diet, was going to be the thing I was going to try to work toward. Uh I got out of the hospital uh, through everything I went through, probably around August, everything. Uh, I did get out earlier than that, but I had a lot of problems. But August was whenever I really started trying to implement things. And then September, I decided to start my intermittent fasting. And uh, I would fast for 16 hours. I started out actually fasting 24 hours and then eating for 24 hours. I did that for a few weeks, and then I switched over to something that was a whole lot more simple for me, and that's I fast for 16 hours every day, and I eat in an eight-hour window. Well, through intermittent fasting, this what I, uh, has helped me lose down to where I am right now, to the 369 pounds. I hadn't quite got the low-carb, high-fat thing down yet, but I'm still working on it. And uh, if you saw my Facebook uh, video, I'll let you know that the big problem for me is fellowship. When I fellowship people, everybody's eating. So it makes me want to eat. If I stay at home, I do good. And I'm working very hard on that. So I went through intermittent fast and I lost about 70 pounds. I was probably, I had already lost down to around, uh, 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 around 440 from, uh, 660 or above whenever I went in to get my leg amputated and all that but from September to now I've lost the rest of it down to 369 pounds well uh and there was times that I actually got up and down and up and down before all that but I was at 440 around September and now I'm at 369 and uh that's my weight loss journey there I'm going to give a lot of videos in the future on why you should try intermittent fasting and why diabetics should try low carb, high fat combined with intermittent fasting. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, if you're watching me on YouTube, please subscribe or go to my website at uh, iflchf.com and check everything out there, my information, all that, anything that can help you, all that's free. But I do also offer where you can click over to other sites and purchase things. When you do that, that helps me out. Please do that as well. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.